Hi guys. Okay, so I need to teach you today how to graph systems that involve uh, conic sections. So if you think back when we did graphing lines and we did systems that, right, there might've been a line here and another line here, and you're trying to figure out where they intersect. We're doing the same thing, but think about the fact that conics have lots of different shapes. You might have a circle and a parabola and it might intersect at two different places, right? Likewise, maybe you have an ellipse and a hyperbola, right? And then you have four intersection points. Right. So again, think about the fact that you can definitely have more than one um, and you could have up to four. So some of them you're going to do with algebra and others are more easily done with graphs. So for this one, let's try this one. I'm going to take the second equation and I'm going to solve it for X specifically so that I can substitute into the top equation. So if I take this bottom one and I make it X equals one minus two Y. I'm going to take this entire binomial and put it here so that my top equation now looks like this. 1 minus 2y squared plus 4y squared equals 25. Now I need to simplify this, meaning I'm going to FOIL and combine some like terms. So FOILing, I get 1 minus 4y plus 4y squared plus 4y squared equals 25. Since this is quadratic, I'm going to combine some like terms and make sure it equals zero. So 8y squared minus 4y minus 24 equals zero. Again, I'm doing some of this in my head, but I think you guys can handle it. I'm going to factor um, to make the numbers a little bit smaller, right? I'm going to divide both sides by 4. 2y squared minus y minus 6 equals zero. And then let's see if this thing factors. So I'm looking for numbers that multiply to be negative 12, but add to be negative 1, which is negative 4 and 1. Dividing by the leading coefficient and reducing, I think I get y minus 2 and 2y, two that's a 3. 2y plus 3. Don't you love it when you make a mistake in the video? All right, which means I have two separate y values, y equals 2, and y equals negative 3 halves. Okay, that's fine, that's great, that's dandy, but I need to have x values to go with them. So if this y is 2 and this is negative 3 halves, I'm going to plug each of them one at a time right here in order to figure out what the x value is. So in one case, I plug in 2 and I get negative 3. In the other case, I plug in negative 3 halves and I get, let's see, that cancels, one plus, I get four. Okay, so there are the two ordered pairs where these two things cross, right? One of these is an ellipse, the other one's a line. All right, now some of them work better with graphing. All right, notice there's some inequalities going on here. All right, so this one, what is this thing? Let's see, it's not a circle, so let me divide everything by 81. It's, a, it's an ellipse. 81, 81, 81. That now looks like x squared over 9 plus y squared over 81 is less than 1. Okay, so it's centered at the origin. I count out left and right 3. 1, 2, 3. Up and down 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I have an oval. Again, Probably the worst looking oval you've ever seen. Looks like a football, maybe a funky looking egg. I don't know. Um, and then this is less than, which means I'm going to pick a point to test like the origin. If I plug in the origin, I get zero is less than 81, which is true. So I have shading inside my ellipse. Now this one, this is a circle. It has centered at the origin with a radius of four. One, two, three, four, 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 and four. Circle. You know what I just think, figured out? Just right the second. That ellipse should be dotted. That ellipse, I forgot that should be dotted. So let's just make it dotted right now. Okay, better. 
All right, now, as far as the shading on the circle, when I pick zero, zero, I get zero is greater than 16, which is false. So my shading's on the outside of the circle, outside of the circle. So here's the question, where does this shading overlap? I'm gonna do it in purple for you. It's right in here, inside the ellipse, but outside the circle. Right, so that would be your picture for the second one. Okay, let's see, what else have I got here? Ooh, let's solve this system. Okay, so I'm gonna take this bottom equation, this is example number three, I'm going to solve it for y squared. So this equation becomes y squared equals nine x squared plus 16. And I'm gonna plug all of that into the top equation. I'm gonna use substitution. So 5x squared plus 9x squared plus 16 equals 30. Let's see, this becomes 13x squared equals, I'm brain farting, 14. Oh, hold it, that's 14x squared. There we go, 14x squared equals 14, x squared equals one. So when you take the square root, that means x is plus or minus one. One, one. Okay, now I need to plug those back in. All right, I'm gonna plug them here. When I plug one in here into this bottom equation, I get y squared equals nine times one plus 16. I get y squared equals 25, which means when x is one, y could be plus or minus five. Okay, and I'm gonna let you think this through a little bit, but when I plug negative one into this equation, I get the same exact answer for y, which means that these two conic sections intersect at four locations, okay? Four separate locations is the intersection, for example, three. All right, I hope that you guys uh, understood this. Um, I will be back tomorrow to answer all your questions. And your test, excuse me, your quiz. Your quiz is on Friday. All right, um, I don't have a joke for you. I'm sorry, I told Isabel I would have one, but I don't. That's the funny part. <laughs>